Code Llama has been released by Meta AI. Code Llama is the state-of-the-art large language model for coding. And here is a quick look how it works. So you pass a prompt in bash how do I list all text files in the current directory that have been modified in the last month. And here you will get the response over here. So Code Llama is the state-of-the-art large language model capable of generating code and natural language about code from both code and natural language prompt. So Code Llama is free for commercial, free for research and commercial use. Code Llama is built on the top of Llama 2 and is available in three models. So Code Llama is specialized for Python and Code Llama Instruct, which is fine-tuned for understanding natural language instructions. So this is the complete blog post of about Code Llama. You can check out the Code Llama research paper by clicking on this link. You can also check out the GitHub repo of Code Llama by clicking on this link. And if you want to download the Code Llama model locally on your system, you can just uh, click on this link and just fill up this form so that you can uh, request for the access. And you will be granted your access within 24 hours as well. So how Code Llama works, you can just uh, view this complete blog post. So Code Llama is available with three models with 7 billion parameters, 13 billion parameters and 34 billion parameters. So the model with 34 billion parameters is not out yet, but currently it's available with 7 billion and 13 billion parameters. Along with this, if you want to learn uh, the architecture of Code Llama, it's available as well in the blog post. You can just check out the blog post and you will get an understanding of the complete architecture of Code Llama. Basically, Code Llama is built on top of Llama 2. You can simply say that. And here, a comparison of Code Llama with other open source and closed source models is presented. You can just check over here. So, from over here, you can see over here, uh, Code Llama basically outperforms GPT 3.5 model. You can see over here. So, with GPT uh, 3.5 model, we get a uh, human evaluation 48.1, but with Code Llama with 13 uh, with Code Llama with 34 billion parameters we get 53.7. So this is good. Like Code uh, Code Llama outperforms GPT 3.5 model, and uh, you can just check all the details from this blog post as well. So the aim of this tutorial was to show you how you can run Code Llama on your CPU machine. So let's move towards this. To run Code Llama on my CPU machine, I will be using this quantized Code Llama model in uh, available on a hugging face in GGML format. So we will be using C Transformers library to run this Code Llama model in 7 billion parameters and in GGML format. C Transformers is a Python library that provides bindings for the model that are available in GGML format. So this is basically a quantized model and the quantized models are more easily uh, are easy to run on the local CPU machine and uh, it is available in different files and versions. So let me show you which we will be using in this tutorial. So if you just click on files and versions from here. So I will be using this uh, model, uh, quantize a model of Lama Core Lama with 7 billion parameters and in this uh, 4 bit. So the size of this model is 3.79 GB. I have in my uh, in my CPU machine I have 8 GB of RAM available, and this model will take around 6 GB of uh, total memory. So that works fine. But if you have a 16 GB of RAM available in your local machine, uh, so then you can use this model. It's a quantized model in 8 bit format, and this will consume around 9 GB of your um, uh, uh, memory in your local machine. So you can just check out the, these models available over here depending on your uh, system requirements. So you can simply download this model from here by just clicking over here. So it will start downloading the model. So I have already downloaded the model and let's move towards the file shop. So over here you can see your uh, I have just created a project in PyCharm and the name of this project is run Code Llama CPU. And these are the three libraries that are required uh, in this project, which includes C Transformers, Radio, and LangChain. So we will be creating a web app UI using Radio as well as we require LangChain. So LangChain is a framework that allows us to build 
large language model and to run uh, the quantized LAMA2 uh, code LAMA model in DGM and format. On our CPU machine, we require C transformers library, which provide bindings for the models that are implemented in DGM and format. So first we will run uh, code LAMA on our CPU machine. I will just create a file, run code LAMA file. And here I will just write down the complete code. I will not be writing the complete code over here. I will just uh, uh, copy the complete uh, code I have already written and add it over here. And I will explain with the complete code as well. So I have just added the complete code over here. So first of all, we from langchain.llms, I am importing C transformers library. Along with this, uh, we are just importing LLM chain. So to execute prompt template we require LLM chain. And here I will be just uh, creating an input prompt template from langchain. So I'm just importing prompt template. So this is my input prompt template. You are an AI coding assistant. Your, your task is to solve the coding problems and return coding snippets based on the query or the or the user question uh, or the question that the user has asked. You just return the helpful answer and nothing else. And in this, uh, we get the uh, answer as a return for the question which we have asked for. So here I am just creating a prompt template, and this prompt template is passed over here as input. And our input variable is query. So you can see we have only one input variable, which is query, and I have listed over here. And if you have two input variables, you will list two input variables in over here. Currently, I have one input variable, query, and which is I have listed over here. So here I've just uh, downloaded the Lama 2 quantized model from Hugging Face, and here I've just passed the path over here. If you see over here, I have just created a folder by the name model in my project in directory. And in this model folder, I have just placed this model, which I have downloaded from Hugging Face. And the model type is Llama. And the model new to maximum new tokens, like the max one token is equal to four English characters. So we will have maximum 2000 English characters as the output. Uh, what output will we get will be maximum 2000 English characters long and the temperature value. So if you are doing some coding, uh, if you are using uh, OpenAI model or any uh, closed source model like Lama code Lama model or Lama 2 model. So if you are want to generate some code in the output, then you can set the temperature value high. But if you want to uh, create generate some article or some blog post, then uh, so if you want to generate some article or some blog post, then you can uh, keep the temperature value uh, very specific like 0 0.2 0 0.3 but if you want to generate some code then you can uh, complete uh, uh, make the temperature value high so here i'm just setting the temperature value 0 0.5 so temperature value varies from 0 to 1 okay so here i have just called the llm chain so that i can execute this prompt template over here and this is my query write that python code to load a csv file using pandas library so one thing i forgot to tell you here i have just listed three uh, uh libraries which i will be using in this project so you can install these libraries by just writing pip install minus r requirements dot txt so this will install all the requirement lab libraries that are well in the requirements dot txt file the other approach is to uh, go to settings from here and you just need to select the python interpreter and then select this from here and you can just write each library once over here read really transformers and you can just click over here and just click on install package from here then you can just write length chain over here. Then you can just uh, click over here and install packet from here. And then you can just write radio over here and then you can click on install package. So this is also the way in which you can install all the required libraries. You can see it's done over here. Okay. So now to execute this uh, uh, file, I will simply write over here, Python run for Lama dot. So this will start to execute and in the output, I will just get a Python code to load the CSV file using pandas library. Here is our output. You can use pandas library to open any CSV file. The most simplest way is to use this single line of code, but the line of the code is not provided. And write the Python code to load a CSV file using pandas library. This is my input. So let's, uh, Run, uh, let's create a web application using Gradio and then we can have a better look at what response do we get. So I will just uh, run, go over here and write over here, run for Lama 
dash gradio dot pipe and I will just add the complete code over here. So let me just add it. So I have added the complete code over here. So let me just explain you. Here you can see that we are importing C transformers library uh, LM chain from template. So we have already seen this. Plus here I'm just importing uh, Gradio so that I can create a web UI and I'm importing Gradio as GR so that we can create web UI. And here you can see the prompt template over here. You are an AI coding student and, and your task is to solve coding problems and return code snippers based on the user's query. Way below is the user's query. So here you will pass the user's query. You just return the helpful code. And you can see here is the custom prompt over here. And here we will load the model. Uh, we can set maximum new tokens as 512. Easy. And then I'm just loading the model uh, and just creating LLM chain. So I've already explained you. So to execute the prompt template, we require LLM chain. And uh, here is the major part. So here you can see that we are just creating a Gadoo app and the title of this app is Sport Mama Net Demo. And uh, in our web page, we will see a markdown by the name Sport Mama Demo as well. And plus we are just uh, creating a text box where the user can input uh, the, the question and we will just create a button, clear button. So when the user uh, clicks on the clear button, all the previous chat history will be cleared. And here, when the user uh, will ask the board, like this is the board, so the user will ask what question, question the user asks. So this message will be passed in over this in this query, and then we will uh, append the chat history as well, and we'll then get the response over here as well. When the user submits the query, uh, user, uh, when the user submits the query, and then in the return we get the response back. So let's run this. So I will just write uh, record this. And let's see how does it works. Okay, I have already installed it already, but let's see. Let's go to settings over here. And then just right over here. Oh, see, I think uh, Gradio package is missing. Okay. Yes, Gradio is missing. They can actually. If you have faced this issue, you can just simply go over here and click on install package and install the Gradio package. Now we are just installing the Gradio package from here. So this might take few seconds before it gets installed. Now you can see that Gradio package installed successfully. You can see the message over here. Okay, so let's run this now. We will get the URL over here. Then we will just click on the URL and we will have the web UI available. So let's see how much time it takes. Okay. So here is the URL. I'm just clicking on this URL from here. And let me uh, just navigate my screen towards this side. So you can see here, we have just created a web UI and let me ask a question in this Twix box. So what I will decide right up by on code to load a CSV file using pandas. Right. So I will just click on enter now. And this might take few seconds to generate a response. Here is the output and you can see that we are getting the Python code to load the CSV file using pandas library and the, the code over here is import pandas as pd. First we will import the pandas library. Then we will write df is equal to pd dot read dash csv. So we will be using read dash csv in, in the uh, in function inside the pandas library to load the csv file and this is the name of the csv file example1.csv. You can uh, have uh, any CSV file and you will just write the name of that CSV file over here and you will just print DF so that you can check what data you have in your CSV file. So let's ask other question, the question number two. Write a Python code to connect with SQL database and link and list down all the 
tables. So this is my second question. Write a Python code to connect with SQL database and list down all the tables. I will just click on enter and see what response do I get from over here. So here we are getting the response. I have just asked a question. Write a Python code to connect with SQL database and list down all the tables. And I have just getting the complete code over here to connect to my SQL database using Python. You have to use one of following libraries. My SQL connector Python, PyMSQL, PyODC, and Django. Here example of how to list down all the tables in my SQL database using Python and my SQL connector Python library. And here you can see I've been provided all the code over here. And it looks amazingly. We have uh, we are just provided chat history over here as well. You can see this is my first question and this is the second question. And if I just click on clear, all the chat history gets all the previous chat gets uh, removed from my web UI. So that's all from this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned how we can run Port Lama model on our local CPU machine and create an application using Radio. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye bye.